Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the X Crawlers. Now this was developed by Game Dynasty and Digital World, Woods, published by Desert Water Games and it's usually available for £4.19 slash $4.99. Now, of course, this is another easy 1,000, but even better than that, this is part of the, the first, uh, well, the very first DWG Fest. So basically what you can do, you can actually win up to $100 and many other prizes by participating in this contest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a link down below to uh, Desert Water Games Publishing's Twitter, where you can follow and you can enter. So you can, again, you could be in with a chance of winning up to $100, which is just Awesome. So again, I will um, pop that in the description and in the comment section below for you to enter. So otherwise, uh, getting back to the game, this is, uh, you know, it's actually a very, very cool little game. Very enjoyable. Uh, it's like a top-down uh, RPG roguelike type game. So if you're into that, it's great. If not, then you'll be into the easy achievements. Right, so what we're going to do then, uh, let, with that being said, we can get it done in f less than five minutes, so let's do it. All the normal stuff there, I almost forgot. So we're going to start a new game. We press the A button to skip the cutscene and the B button to match the dialogue. Left stick to move. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're just going to get our first achievement here by getting the warding out. We're going to free the lich. Oh no, not good man. Right, so what you can do now, go up to the sword, pick it up with the B button and then mash the X button to smash open some boxes. There we go. Um, press the B button to pick up the arrows and then with the right stick... Um, in, in whatever direction it is, with the right stick, that is how you use the arrows. Now, to get past the spider webs here, go down to the fire, and then shoot it up, and then that'll put the spider webs on fire. Smash open, and kill a couple of spiders, and this skeleton. We also need to be uh, grabbing five loot boxes, so what we're going to do is smash open this box here. We're going to smash open all the boxes that we possibly can. Uh, so, I think we've got one right there, so go up. This is another potion. Uh, obviously potions don't count, it's just the random bits of whatever. Uh, press A to dash past the fire and then the right stick to kill the skeleton, opening up the way. Uh, go up here, shoot the archer, and then that's another item that we have grabbed. So what we can do now is head down, this is a little boss fight after we kill this skeleton scaloni. Man, that guy really needs a McDonald's. Uh, so what you need to do then is interact with the flag here, and that'll, uh, sh we we'll eventually have to kill four ogres. Um, if you want to get, I think we're on, th we should be on three items now. If you want to get a fourth item, uh, where the fire is, if you see in the top left hand corner, there is another spider web. So if you shoot the fire, and that'll hit the spider web, that can be the fourth item. If not, you can, you should be able to get two in the next area anyway. So once you've killed all these, you should get another achievement there for killing the three Ogres, the three Shreks of life. Oh man, Shrek really, uh, well, he really turned bad after the uh, <laughs> success after the first uh, couple of Shrek films and then uh, lost it all with Shrek 4 and 5. Uh, right, so after this bit then you'll automatically get the achievement so we can now head into the forest level proper. So... This is where we are going to uh, level up by killing all these enemies. Killing three of these little slime bows. Um, again, the achievements just pop like absolute crazy. Uh, but what you can do then, to get the remaining loot items, you see on the mini-map in the bottom right-hand corner where the X's are? Well, if you follow that, that is where you will find other boxes. They do get randomized in this one though. So, um, although enemies are the same, uh, now this is just me uh, just killing enemies. So what? So yeah. So the enemies are the same, but the loot is randomly different in boxes. So I've just got the uh, level up achievement there for leveling up. Uh, that was just what the edit skip was for. Then I'm just kill killing a few enemies as I can. So now all we should basically have left is to grab the five loots, five and looten hootens. So again, just follow the map to the um, to the X's. Now you didn't actually have to start the box fight in order to um, get the box to in order to hit the boxes. Uh, you didn't have to do that. You can literally just hit the boxes and go nuts. Uh, so here's one another item that I've obtained: Tarek's gunpowder. That's always nice. Again, these are going to be in. These are going to be random. Um, so if you've 
gone to every camp and you've got, uh, you haven't got the achievement left, just go ahead, die, and then everything will be reset, and you can come back and go nuts again. And I will get my last item here, which is the red key of life, and that is as golden as nuggets. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game, hope you've enjoyed the guide as well, and that it helped. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. And remember to enter the DWG Fest competition so that you may win up to a hundred bucks and other prizes. But that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Big old love.